Hi everyone, my name is Sienna Murray. I'm a student here at Suffolk as well as an experienced student leader. I realized when I was, I was gay when I started to look at women in a way that wasn't quote unquote natural for another woman to look at another woman. Um, growing up I was like see the celebrities like oh my god like she's beautiful and it started like to feel weird this girl kind of makes me feel something you're getting butterflies and I didn't exactly know how to react to it because my family's very southern Baptist and it's just like you're gay I'll slap the hell out of you excuse my language but I realized when I was just like this is something I need to accept when I started crushing my best friends and I told her and she was like yeah I kind of always knew and I was just like ah oh, well damn <laughs> so that's how I realized like you know I'm gay no more pretending to be bi or straight it's just I'm gay and that's where it really kind of started I recently came out maybe almost a year ago to my aunt and it didn't like to go very well um, I was sick and my girlfriend at the time had came over and my aunt didn't really want people coming over because we were like cleaning the house but I was just like screw it I was being rebellious so I would come over anyway and my aunt like definitely felt some sort of way and she decided to have a family meeting so it was her boyfriend me my girlfriend at the time and my cousin and she was just like what makes you want to be this way and you're gonna burn in hell and what makes you think you're gonna go somewhere being that way you're not gonna get ahead in life what are people at school and working again think mind you everyone I work with knows and they accept me just as I am I'm, I'm good at my job too so that doesn't exactly affect my working habits so it was just that and for a good maybe two months it was kind of like that and uh, I remember her calling a family member she, she was crying she was devastated she was just like you could be like a murderer or a rapist or a serial killer and just being gay was like the lowest form of life it was it was just that whole situation I remember my grandmother calling me and my uncle and my dad and everyone just being like what the hell is wrong with Cindy that's my aunt and it was it was just crazy just crazy 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 but I can say now, I think she kind of warmed up to it um, a little bit more accepting, although she doesn't exactly agree with it, but I think she likes me as a person because she knows I'm smart, I'm ambitious, I'm going somewhere in life, so I think she's kind of focusing on that rather than the fact that I'm gay. Coming out to my friends is really easy. Um, they're accepting, they're liking the way I am, and it's kind of like, they kind of just like, see, we kind of know, like, you look at girls all the time, like, so it, it was really easy. They're really accepting, so. Um, I don't know, I look at people like Ellen DeGeneres and, you know, other lesbian icons and gay icons, RuPaul, I love him, like, you know, just people who aren't afraid to be who they are and just saying, you know, this is who I am and, uh, I don't know, there's a saying, I can't remember what it was. Friend of mine was just like, they're kind of like eccentric that way, my friend Michelle, and she was just like, well, you know, I may be eccentric, but at least I'm not afraid to be who I am and, you know, she was bullied in high school and I think she's one of the reasons why I get the courage to stand up because a lot of the times especially in my high school with the Huntington you're kind of afraid to stand out because of being judged and when you really just sit there and be like you know I'm happy being this way this is who I am and I'm just gonna be me regardless of what anybody has to say about it you become less stressed and it's just I don't know it just you just don't feel all the pressure and I think that's where I get most of the courage from and my cousin too, he, he's, he supported me from day one when I first came out to him. He was like, yo, you're my sister, I love you regardless, and screw it. Just be happy being you, and I definitely, definitely am. Oh, I'm excited about uh, marriage equality passing in New York. Uh, about damn time, like we're one of the most eccentric cities, like nation of like drag queens and just pride all over the place. It's about time we, we um, you know, how did Washington get before us? Like, it was just, uh, I'm just happy about it. Like, it was great. I went to Pride um, t uh, last last year, and this was great seeing, you know, women in their wedding dresses and, you know, people getting married. It, it was great. It was a great feeling, finally, in New York. I don't know, the President of the United States is saying that he supports same-sex marriage. That should really open up to people's eyes, like, okay, blacks fought for their civil rights. Women, but if, like, you know, fought for their civil rights. Why shouldn't gay people have the same right? I mean, they're just like everyone else. The only difference is that, you know, they're choosing someone to marry the same sex. I don't really see, I don't, I mean, I don't know, it's hard. I'm just happy he came out. Everyone else should too. Get with the picture. 2012. I can definitely say surround yourself with a good support system because I've been through a lot of struggles with, you know, in my own life dealing with depression, sexual abuse, and my family wasn't exactly a good support system other than my cousin. But, I mean, other than him, I had a great group of friends who supported me, was there for me, and helped me go through the whole process, because, you know, when I tell my friends now that I was kind of confused with the whole sexuality thing, they was like, no, because I'm very confident and I know who I am, so 
just surround yourself with a good support system. Know who your friends are, because um, there's some. I have actually a couple of friends of mine who, you know, came out to their friends, and they're kind of like, oh. Mm, I don't know if I want to be your friend now. So just know who your friends are and support yourself. Like get around a really good group of, uh, you know, people that are going to support you and love you regardless of who you are. I definitely say it, 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 does, it does get better.